Yo, what's going on guys? It's Houston Sports Talk back in the video today, and today the Las Vegas Raiders have signed cornerback Marcus Peters, who is a two-time All-Pro in 2019 and 2016, and a three-time Pro Bowler in 2015, 2016, and 2019, and has spent his last couple of seasons with the Baltimore Ravens, spent most of the 2019 season with the Baltimore Ravens as he was traded there uh, from the Rams. And so he spent most of the season with the Ravens in 2019, played 10 games with the Ravens, uh, played 2020 with the Ravens as well, did not play in 2021 due to an ACL injury, or was it, it was either an ACL or Achilles injury, and played 2022 with the Ravens as well. And this year he was a, this year he is a free agent and is now signing with the Raiders and also spent, you know, his first four seasons with the, or is that the, his first three seasons with the, is that the, is that four or three? Yeah, first four seasons with the Chiefs, 20, 2015, 2016, and 2017 with the Chiefs, 2018 with the Rams, and that's when the Rams went to the Super Bowl, I'm pretty sure. And then, yeah, that's when the Rams went to the Super Bowl in 2018, and he was really good for them that year. And then 2019, spent six games with the Rams and 10 with the Ravens. So let's go over his stats. Uh, but I, I, before I do go over his stats, I love the signing for the Raiders. The Raiders kind of needed to add in some depth at the corner position. And also they've you know upgraded their defense quite a bit with adding in Marcus Peters in free agency you know, just, you know, just today. And also adding in Tyree Wilson from Texas Tech with the seventh overall pick. Their defense, I would say, has improved uh, a little bit with adding in Peters and and Wilson in in, in this off season. And so this season, we're gonna so we're gonna go over his stats. Uh, this season, he played with the Ravens, played thirteen games, thirteen starts, one interception, and he returned that interception for eight yards. Um, that one interception he had this year was the least amount of interceptions he had. He's had in a season. He's never in a season. He's never had. He's always had either two or more interceptions in his whole career, um, in in um, in his career, and and most of the time, it's you know it's been near double digits. I mean, I mean not really. I mean he had eight one year. That's his career high. Had five one year. Had six one year. Um, but yeah. All right, so this season with the Ravens, played 13 games, 13 starts, one interception, returned that interception for eight yards, uh, six passes deflected, two forced fumbles, two fumble recoveries, one sack, which was only – that sack he had this season was only his second sack of his career at 47 combined tackles for two tackles for loss and one QB hit. 2020 with the Ravens, played 14 games, 14 starts, four interceptions, 17 uh, yards that he returned those interceptions for his longest was 12 nine passes deflected four forced fumbles and he had two fumble recoveries one sack as well 52 combined tackles one tackle for a loss one qb hit um and then didn't 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 play 2021 of course in 2019 i'm going to talk about his combined stats between the ravens and the rams played 16 games with 15 starts Five interceptions, returned those five interceptions for 210 yards uh, and three t- three touchdowns with three pick sixes. His longest was 89. 14 passes deflected, one fumble recovery, zero forced fumbles. And he had that season had 53 combined tackles with one tackle for loss and zero QB hits. 2018 with the Rams, 16 games, 16 starts, three interceptions, returned those three interceptions for 107 yards with one touchdown he had eight passes deflected with one with one fumble recovery or yeah no sorry no fumble recoveries in 2018 that was 2017 i was looking at uh 43 combined tackles and then that was really it uh 2016 i'm gonna go over his 2016 season i'm gonna skip the 2017 season not that he had ba- not that he had a bad year he had five interceptions that year uh he had five interceptions to return those five interceptions for 137 yards but it was the it was the 2016 season where he was dominant, and 2015 both both years. 2016, 15 games, 15 starts, six interceptions, turned those for 63 yards, one forced fumble, and three fumble recoveries, returned those for 45 yards with one touchdown. So one fumble recovery touchdown, 46 tackles, and two tackles for loss. 
Now, 2015 in his rookie season, and in 2015 in his rookie season, he won Defensive Player of the Year and 16 games, 16 starts, eight interceptions as a rookie. That is crazy. 280 yards that he returned those eight interceptions for, two touchdowns on the inter- for interceptions, 26 passes deflected, which is a career high for him, one forced fumble, zero fumble recoveries, 60 tackles, and two tackles for loss. So as there's a plane going by, um, those have been his career stats. He's been a really good corner, I mean, since day one. I mean, if you're going to see a, a rookie corner do that well, I mean, Sauce Gardner was pretty damn good this season uh, for J- the for the Jets. But, I mean, eight interceptions in his rookie season and also had three fumble recoveries and one forced fumble. I mean, that, those are some good stats for a rookie. And, I mean, it's not like he's a bad player now, even, you know, now that he's been in the league for, like, what, seven years or six years? I mean, seven full years, but he did miss one season in 2021. It's not like he's a bad player now. I think... The ACL ACL injury might have affected him just a tiny bit, but hopefully, you know, in his first, you know, full season, if he's able to stay healthy this season for the Raiders, uh, since coming back from the ACL injury, because he only played 13 games this season, I do believe he missed the first couple games because, you know, he got injured late in the season. He got injured like week 15, week 16 last year. So he missed the first couple weeks of the 2022 season this year. So his first full season coming back from the ACL injury, maybe things look different for him. But I think this is still a good signing for the Las Vegas Raiders. I like the addition for Las Vegas. Use your thoughts on the signing for the Raiders. And that's it for the video. If you guys enjoyed, peace out.